Hello everyone, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Serbia campaign in EU4 Mew and Texas. So I have uh, 13 years until the truce with Castile ends. So what I'm going to do is attack Cyprus. Conquer Cyprus, and then in the meantime I will... We'll get some map modes, because this is almost the end. It's not the end yet, but it's, it's almost there. I just need this strip right here, these two provinces from Portugal, and then some territories here. Basically, the coast, probably from Garb up around to El Rif, maybe Jabalwa and Arif. So, I think that's maybe one, two wars against Castile left and then uh you know annexing Ancona and Genoa and then my borders will be perfect so I will uh, look at some map modes just in case anybody's wondering oh no things were uh things for things were relatively quiet and then uh, cultural unrest I'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's uh, siege this province first. An advisor died. You go over there, you go here. Siege of that province. It's the same exact advisor that I had. Alright, so the map modes. Well, here's a uh, world view of Europe. England didn't do anything. Ireland still exists. Ireland actually formed. That hardly ever happens. Scotland still exists. They're a junior partner. Okay, so they did do that. Denmark still exists. They have... Wow, that's hardly ever happens as well. Norway and Sweden are still under personal unions with Denmark. That hardly ever happens. I don't think I've ever seen that, actually. Just like I've never seen Ireland. And the big dog in the HRE is Saxony. That's a huge Saxony, actually. Prussia. AI formed Prussia. That's another thing I really don't see. Maybe that's just because I don't play enough games, but... They historically formed Prussia with Brandenburg and uh, Teutonic Order. And uh, Lithuania is pretty big. And then Muscovy is over here. They did not form Russia. It might just be a matter of time. Crimea still exists because they are my vassal. That's right. That makes sense. Georgia is also my vassal. I never really see the Ilkhanate forming. Forming. And they did this part. There's a lot of uh, new things for me that happened here. And that is one of them. So India is dominated by Delhi. And Vijayanagara. Checking if they have uh, vassals. They don't. Who are they fighting? Delhi. That is a huge Delhi, actually. Del. Delhi. Is that how you say it? There's an H there, so Delhi might not be the correct pronunciation. Ming, huge as ever.
Majapahit. Nothing much going on over there. Ndongo has uh, killed the Congo. The Congo killed by Ndongo. Don't see that often. Mali. Mali and Kanem Bornu, the major powers in West Africa. And that's all that I can see. Uh, Castile has Brazil, the Caribbean, Argentina, and Bolivia as uh, colonies, and Portugal has Cuba. England has Canada, and France has nobody. Alright, so that was the world of you. Uh, HRE. Yep, yeah, basic HRE stuff. Let's go ahead and annex Cyprus. They are gone. Let's stop drilling these guys in Italy because I'm going to need them soon. You stop drilling and then you come over here. Where's the unrest map mode actually? That would help me. Huh, wow, so there's no unrest anywhere over here. Oh, no, there. Okay, yeah, negative, 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 perfect. So where are all these rebellions? They're all over here, then. There's a couple up here. Let's have these guys go to... Ferraro. And they can go right there. There's enough supply limit. These guys will stay over there. And I should be able to deal with any rebellions that rise up. Alright, religion. Most of my lands, the lands that I've held for a long time, are Orthodox. Italy is um, still pretty Catholic. Am I converting anything right now? Can't really convert anything. Mostly doing with... Uh, cultures let's go back Ireland is reformed uh, you know Protestantism in the HRE pretty basic This is pretty much like a generic religion map mode, except since I'm Orthodox, there's more Orthodox provinces in places there wouldn't be. Sunnis, Shiites, Africa Muslim, India Hindu, pretty basic stuff.
Here's the diplomatic map mode. Uh, culture map mode. I don't think this really changes. Culture spreads so slow. And there's a ton of requirements, so it's probably the same as the base with some minor changes to a couple provinces. The estates dominated by the greater nobles who have half of my country under their thumb. Definitely let the greater nobles and just estates in general run rampant in this campaign, which is something that I'm avoiding in future campaigns. I learned my lesson. It's a ton of unrest, or uh, not unrest, corruption. And uh, it's not really a killer per se, but it just makes things annoying. Uh, opinion. I built a bunch of universities. No, the estates built them? Or the provinces? I didn't build those. I don't think I did. It's been a while. Great powers are Ming, Mi, Delhi, V, France, Castile, Aztecs, Ilkhanate. Population. This is not a very good map mode because there's not that many uh, differences between provinces. Oh boy, here comes a bunch of rebellions. They're all gonna pop at the same time. Technology, I'm pretty far behind actually in tech. England's in the mid 30s. Well, my diplo tech is pretty decent. My mill tech is near time. But my admin tech is just horrible. Recovery of Lefkozio. Gain 3 prestige if I appoint a new patriarch and unrest and missionary strength, or 12 prestige and 6 legitimacy. We'll appoint a new guy. Province trauma, the uh, Balkans enjoys prosperity. The Balkans are very prosperous. Loot mode, map mode doesn't do anything. Trade value. Give me those two ducats. Where's autonomy? Here is the autonomy map mode. Very high autonomy in some places. Obviously I just conquered this area recently, so it's not going to be good autonomy. I'm working on getting my autonomy down in Italy. There is a capital in Marca Grossentana. It's not really expanding. It's not getting the autonomy down in the other provinces. Very slowly, I suppose. But autonomy is pretty good in this uh, in this patch 
of land right here. That's my base, so anything else is just bonus, and I support myself with this stuff. Looking at the ledger, I have the second most income behind Ming. Double, so I'm half, pretty much half of Ming, but I'm double the third guy. There we go, there's some rebellions. 31,000. Should win this. I lost 11,000 men though, that's a lot of men. <clears throat> you kill them, you kill them. These guys won. They won as well. They won, but they didn't actually kill them. Then stack wipe them. Let's go ahead and bring these guys over because I'm not liking these guys. Okay, there we go. those guys recover and these guys can come to Mercium. Take care of these 5k rebels. Can they get there first? Mm, maybe. They did. Okay. So I might as well just take them out so they don't have to land from the sea. All right, that was like four rebellions. Taken care of. All right, so I think I'm gonna end this part here. And then I will pick it up in the next part. I'll probably time skip a little bit. Either I'll time skip and fight Castile, or I'll just fight Portugal, who's fighting in Mexico. They're allied with England. I think first I'll take care of the rebels. It's kind of boring, so I'll skip that. And then I'll show up, attack Portugal. And then I'll come back, probably attack Castile again. So I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.